So let's order some coffee. Gonna SSH here into terminal.shop. And um, this is the first time I'm doing this. So I don't know how it works. Okay, so the first one shown here, cron is something recurring. Let's give something else a try. I wanna try these. R is for region, I guess. Let's see. Okay, no products available for this region. Press R to change region again. Global shows nothing. And the US, okay. I'm in Guatemala, so there's a high chance that this is not going to be delivered. I'm not exactly sure if it will, but I will ship it to my US address and um, we'll see if I get it or not. I'm completely aware that I could not get it, but it's a risk that I'm willing to take. It's fine. So this one, light roast, 12 ounces. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know what it says there. So I don't know much about coffee. So let's give this a try. How do I add it? Plus, okay. So it should be with this one. Okay. So it added it there. Sec vault, medium roast, 12 ounces as well. Savory yet sweet blend created from a natural fault in the coffee cherry that causes it to develop one bean instead of two. I don't know what that means. So let's add this one as well. Dark mode, dark roast, 12 ounces. This is from Brazil. Niobe mentioned, Lua mentioned. Uh, chocolate blend, hints of almond. Okay, so let's add this one as well. This 404 seems that is the decaf option, so... I'm not gonna get that one. Let's try these three for now. So it seems that I'm in the shop tab right now because that is the text that is highlighted at the very top. What do I have to do now? Go to cart. Do I have to set up my account details first or do I have to create an account or what? Let's give it a try. Just go to cart. Okay, so these things are added to my cart. Free shipping on US orders over 40. Okay. So C for checkout here. Let's give that a try. Okay. My name. Do I have to put my real name or can I use my Linkarzu name? Let's put my name here. Linkarzu State. Okay. I don't want to show you my address. It's not my real address. It's a US address that I use to ship stuff to Guatemala, my country but I still don't want to show it. So I think I will have to blur this out. I don't know how to blur stuff. I'll have to learn how to do it in DaVinci Resolve, but um, I'll type this in. Let's see if I can paste stuff in here. So if I do P, no, I can type, but if I do Command V, it's going to paste it. Okay, that's good. That's a street address, country, street address two, nothing, city, what city is this? Okay. State, country, phone number, and the zip code. After entering all the details here, just seems that I have to hit enter. Okay. Calculating costs. Okay. Total cost 66, no shipping. Add payment information via SSH, or you can do it via browser. So, how do we go up and down with J and K? Okay, so we're chats. We just work in the terminal. So we're gonna do it here via SSH. Okay, so I have to enter the card information here. Let me type this in and um, I'm gonna blur it as well. I'm gonna paste the card number. Okay, it allows you to paste it with Command V if you're in Mac OS, like a real man. Expiry date, okay. Okay, so first the month. And the year. So do I enter the entire year or just the last two digits? Then, okay. Expected expire year to be length two, but got four. Okay. The last two numbers, the CVC number and the zip code. So I'm just going to hit enter here to submit. Verifying payment details. Okay. It shows you the confirmation there. I will be able to show you only the um, name, basically, no address, and the total, of course, okay? So it says here, press enter to confirm. Let's hit enter, submitting order, order complete. Subscribe to your order, 
Okay. Delivery every three weeks. What do you mean? So does this mean if I want to make it recurring? Is that what it means? So if I hit enter, I will get a recurring shipment for this, or I guess that's what it means, but that's not what I want to do right now. So did I press escape here? It seems like I should press escape. Let's see. Let me read again. Subscribe to your order. Deliver every three weeks. So you can increase or decrease the frequency. I'm just going to hit escape here. Okay. Escape just clear the message at the bottom. So we're going to hit escape again. Okay. Thank you for ordering with terminal products. At this very moment, as you sit stunned and in awe of the CLI experience that just befell you, a personalized order confirmation email is on its way to your inbox. Simultaneously, news of your order is being celebrated widely by the team, perhaps too widely by some. Once the excitement of your order has been subsided to manageable levels, your order will be sealed, shipped, and tracked, courtesy of your very own chief of SST. Yours sincerely, Dax, Adam, Prime, TJ, and David. Terminal products. So what's this link shown here? Let's see. How do I copy? Oh. Okay, I'm just in the terminal. Okay, so if I bring up Tmux copy mode, in my case, I just type the letter M that is gonna show up Tmux copy mode and I can just copy stuff like this. So let's paste this link in here, paste. Okay, so it sends me to Twitter then. Okay, that's why. So you can post this, he's a six, but he orders coffee through the terminal. Okay, let's hit post in here. That's cool. And that's it. What now? Enter to done. It's gonna hit enter then. Okay, the connection to terminal that shop closed. So what happens if I SSH again? Let's see. SSH terminal that shop. Did it create an account or something? How does it know? If we go to account. Okay, so the order is there. Awesome, we were able to do it then. So just remember the country that I'm in, I'm not sure if I'll be able to ship the coffee or import the coffee because of customs. I don't know what's gonna happen, but if it doesn't happen, it's fine. I'm completely aware, it's my responsibility, it's fine. Hold on because now I have to thank the first person that joined with the YouTube CEO membership. Web23, you should be able to see the name around here. Really appreciate it. This keeps the channel going. I also want to thank the rest of the people that have donated in coffee and that have signed in for the YouTube memberships. Remember that my channel is not sponsored. So if you want to help me keep creating these videos, the interviews or the tutorials or all the other stuff, you can consider becoming a YouTube member. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, also remember to subscribe. I also personally want to thank TJ for joining in the last video that I created, the NeoVim versus Emacs interview. You want to go and check it out. The video is going to be showing down here, I think, or up here. I don't know where, somewhere maybe, or maybe even down here. All right, till the next time.